random mind-blowing historic facts and trivia that are almost too weird to be true. During World War II, a great Dane named Juliana was awarded the Blue Cross Medal. She extinguished an incendiary bomb by peeing on it. Alexander the Great was accidentally buried alive. Scientists believe Alexander suffered from a neurological disorder called Guillain-Barre syndrome. They believe that when he died, he was actually just paralyzed and mentally aware. There were female gladiators in ancient Rome. A female gladiator was called a gladiatrix, plural gladiatrices. They were extremely rare, unlike their male counterparts. The world's most successful pirate in history was a lady named Ching Shi. She was a prostitute in China until the commander of the Red Flag Fleet bought and married her. But her husband considered her his equal, and she became an active pirate commander in the fleet. You may know them as the bunch of heroes that broke box office records with their movies. But the Avengers was also a group of Jewish assassins who hunted Nazi war criminals after World War II. They poisoned to 283 German prisoners of war. From 1912 to 1948, the Olympic Games held competitions in the fine arts. Medals were given for literature, architecture, sculpture, painting, and music. Obviously, the art created was required to be Olympic-themed. Famous conqueror Napoleon Bonaparte was once attacked by a horde of bunnies. He had requested that a rabbit hunt be arranged for himself and his men. When the rabbits were released from their cages, the bunnies charged toward Bonaparte and his men in an unstoppable onslaught. Cleopatra wasn't actually Egyptian. As far as historians can tell, Egypt's famous femme fatale was actually Greek. She was a descendant of Alexander the Great's Macedonian general Ptolemy. Ketchup was sold in the 1830s as medicine. In 1834, it was sold as a cure for an upset stomach by an Ohio physician named John Cook. It wasn't popularized as a condiment until the late 19th century. Did you know Abraham Lincoln is in the Wrestling Hall of Fame? The 604 president had only one loss among his around 300 contests. He earned a reputation for this in New Salem, Illinois, as an elite fighter. George Washington opened a whiskey distillery after his presidency. After his term, Washington opened a whiskey distillery. By 1799, Washington's distillery was the largest in the country, producing 11,000 gallons of unaged whiskey. During the Salem witch trials, the accused witches weren't actually burned at the stake. The majority were jailed and some were hanged. But none of the 2,000 people accused ever got burned alive. President Zachary Taylor died from a cherry overdose. Zachary Taylor passed away after eating way too many cherries and drinking milk at a 4th of July party in 1850. He died on July 9th from gastroenteritis. The acid in cherries, along with the milk, is believed to have caused this. Andrew Jackson had a pet parrot, and he taught his parrot, Polly, to curse like a sailor. There is even one legend that the parrot had to be taken out of Jackson's funeral for its proclivity for profanity. The Bloody Mary wasn't always called Bloody Mary. First, the popular brunch drink was actually called a bucket of blood. After bucket of blood, it transitioned to red snapper and finally settled on Bloody Mary. In the ancient Olympics, athletes performed naked. This was to achieve closeness to the gods and also help detox their skin through sweating. In fact, the word gymnastics comes from the ancient Greek words gymnasia, athletic training exercise, and gumnos, naked. In 1386, a pig was executed in France. In the Middle Ages, the pig attacked a child who went to die later from their wounds. The pig was arrested, kept in prison, and then sent to court where it stood trial for murder, was found guilty, and then executed by hanging. During the Great Depression, people made clothes out of food sacks. People used flour bags, potato sacks, and anything made out of burlap. Because of this trend, food distributors started to make their sacks more colorful to help people remain a little bit fashionable. During the Victorian period, it was normal to photograph loved ones after they died. People would dress their newly deceased relatives in their best clothing and then put them in lifelike poses and photograph them. They did this to preserve one last image of their dead loved one. The shortest war in history lasted 38 minutes. It was between Britain and Zanzibar and is known as the Anglo-Zanzibar War. This war occurred on August 27, 1896. It was over the ascension of the next sultan in Zanzibar and resulted in a British victory. Tug of war used to be an Olympic sport. It was part of the Olympic schedule between 1900 and 1920 and occurred at five different Summer Olympic Games. The nation to win the most medals in this was Britain with five medals, then the USA with three. The University of Oxford is older than the Aztec Empire. The University of Oxford first opened its doors to students all the way back in 1096. By comparison, the Aztec Empire is said to have originated with the founding of the city of Tenochtitlan at Lake Texcoco by the Mexica. 
which occurred in the year 1325. The most famous female serial killer was a Hungarian countess, Elizabeth Bathory Dxed. She was accused of torturing and killing over 650 young women. Most of them were between the ages of 10 and 14. Russia ran out of vodka celebrating the end of World War II. When the long war ended, street parties engulfed the Soviet Union, lasting for days, until all of the nation's vodka reserves ran out a mere 22 hours after the partying started. The first official medals of honor were awarded during the American Civil War. They were awarded to Union soldiers who participated in the Great Locomotive Chase of 1862. In 18th century England, pineapples were a status symbol. Those rich enough to own a pineapple would carry them around to signify their personal wealth and high-class status. In that day and age, everything from clothing to houseware was decorated with the tropical fruit. In ancient Greece, they believed redheads became vampires after death. This was partly because redheaded people are very pale-skinned and sensitive to sunlight, unlike the Mediterranean Greeks who had olive skin and dark features. Ferrets, dogs, and monkeys were the most popular pets in the Roman Empire. Instead of cats, ancient Romans used ferrets to hunt mice and rats. They used dogs as guards and monkeys as entertainment. Tablecloths were originally designed to be used as one big communal napkin. When they were first invented, guests were meant to wipe off their hands and faces on a tablecloth after a messy dinner party. Before alarm clocks and way before smartphone alarms, there were people called knocker-uppers who would literally knock on people's windows to wake them up in time for work. Up until the 1970s, knocker-uppers used a long stick, soft hammers, rattles, or even pea shooters to reach their clients' windows. British poet and politician Lord Byron kept a pet bear in his dormitory while studying at Cambridge. Known for being an avid animal lover, when he found out he couldn't bring his dog, he decided to bring a tame bear to live with him on campus instead. He was even known to take it on walks with a leash. For over 30 years, Canada and Denmark have been playfully fighting for control of a tiny island near Greenland called Hans Island. Once in a while, when officials from each country visit, they leave a bottle of their country's liquor as a power move. As St. Lawrence was roasted on a gridiron by the prefect of Rome during the persecution of Christians, legend says he cheerfully declared, I'm well done on this side. Turn me over. Because of this, he derives his patronage of cooks, chefs, and comedians. In 1998, 1,200 bones from some 10 human bodies were found in the basement of Ben Franklin's house. Before you go crafting a murder mystery about the founding father, know it was revealed that the bodies were used in the study of human anatomy. The tallest married couple ever recorded was Anna Haining Swan, who was 7'11", and Martin Van Buren Bates, who was 7'09". When she gave birth, Swan's baby was 22 pounds. In 1945, a balloon bomb launched by Japan landed in Oregon. It fell upon a woman and five children who died when it exploded. These were the only World War II casualties on U.S. soil. Roman gladiators often became celebrities and even endorsed products. Children would even play with gladiator action figures made out of clay. Also, their sweat was considered an aphrodisiac, and women would mix it into their skincare products. Johnny Appleseed was a real person. His real name was John Chapman, and his hometown was Leominster, Massachusetts. He also has a street named after him, though the city planners decided it would be more poetic to use his mythical name, Johnny Appleseed Lane. Cars weren't invented in the United States. The first car was actually created in the 19th century when European engineers Carl Benz and Emile Levasseur were working on automobile inventions. Benz patented the first automobile in 1886. Abraham Lincoln was also a licensed bartender. In 1833, the 16th president opened up a bar called Barry and Lincoln with his friend William F. Barry in New Salem, Illinois. The shop was eventually closed when Barry, a raging alcoholic, consumed most of the shop's supply. Vladimir Pravik was one of the first firefighters to reach the Chernobyl nuclear power plant on April 26, 1986. The radiation was so strong that it changed his eye color from brown to blue. Like the majority of the first responders to the radioactive disaster, Vladimir died 15 days later from severe radiation poisoning. Roman Catholics in Bavaria founded a secret society in 1740 called the Order of the Pug. New members had to wear dog collars and scratch at the door to get in. This paramasonic society was reportedly active until 1902. King Henry VIII of England had servants who were called grooms of stool, whose job was to wipe his bottom after he went to the bathroom. During his reign, he had all of those four such people knighted. Fourteen years before the infamous Titanic sank, author Morgan Robertson wrote the novella Futility. 
It was about the large, unsinkable ship Titan hitting an iceberg in the northern Atlantic. What's even weirder is the Titanic and the fictional Titan did not have enough lifeboats for the thousands of passengers on board. Coincidence? Between the 11th and 19th centuries, a number of Buddhist monks successfully mummified themselves. They adopted a practice called Sokushin Butsu, in which they gradually weaned themselves off food and water and essentially starved themselves to death over the course of a thousand days. It was believed that by successfully mummifying themselves, the monks would achieve true enlightenment. The ancient Romans often used stale urine as mouthwash. The main ingredient in urine is ammonia, which acts as a powerful cleaning agent. Urine became so in demand that Romans who traded in it actually had to pay a tax. While in power, Pope Gregory IX declared that cats were to be associated with devil worship and had them exterminated. Some believed that the disappearance of those cats helped rats spread the bubonic plague, a.k.a. the Black Death, that killed millions of people in the 1300s. Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin, a Russian mystic and friend to Tsar Nicholas II, reportedly survived being poisoned, shot, and stabbed numerous times before he was finally drowned in the Volga River. From the 1940s to the 1970s, Yale plus other Ivy League schools like Harvard, Vassar, and Brown required their freshmen to pose nude for a photo shoot. The goal was to gather material for a massive study into how rickets developed, and that involved sticking pins to the backs of the subjects, male and female. Generations of the country's elite who went to the Ivy Leagues posed, and the archives included the naked photos of well-known figures ranging from George W. Bush, Hillary Clinton, and Meryl Streep. The photos were destroyed after news leaked and the study was denounced. The Luftwaffe had a master interrogator, Hans Scharf, whose tactic was being as nice as possible. Scharf's best tactics for getting information out of prisoners included nature walks without guards present, baking them homemade food, cracking jokes, drinking beers, and afternoon tea with German fighter aces. His techniques were so successful that the U.S. military later incorporated his methods into their own interrogation schools. In ancient Asia, death by elephant was a popular form of execution. They could be taught to slowly break bones, crush skulls, twist off limbs, or even execute people using large blades fitted to their tusks. In some parts of Asia, this method of execution was still popular up to the late 19th century. Using forks used to be seen as sacrilegious. The widely used eating utensils were once seen as blasphemous and an offense to God. Why? Because they were artificial hands and as such were considered to be sacrilegious. Mary indeed had a little lamb. Her name was Mary Sawyer. She was an 11-year-old girl who lived in Boston and one day was followed to school by her pet lamb. In the late 1860s, she helped raise money for an old church by selling wool from the lamb. Back in the 16th century, the wealthy elite used to eat dead bodies. It was rumored the cadavers could cure diseases. The highest delicacy? Egyptian mummies? Winston Churchill typically smoked 8 to 10 cigars a day, sometimes as much as 15. During the American Prohibition, he would get a doctor's note saying he needed to drink indefinite amounts of alcohol when he would come and visit the States. 100 million years ago, the Sahara Desert was inhabited by galloping crocodiles. Back then, the Sahara Desert was a lush oasis full of life and full of predators. In 2009, fossil hunters found the remains of crocodiles that had large land-going legs that were capable of galloping across the land at breakneck speeds. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.